First look at the minimal build of Gcam 7.2 by Sanity running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at a minimal build of Gcam 7.2 by Sanity running on the POCO F1. As you can see, I am running MIUI 11 based on Android 10 on my POCO F1. And at this point of time, my device is not rooted. This build by Sanity is called the minimal build, but I prefer to call it the point and shoot build. Why? Well, that is because it doesn't have much customizations. In fact, it has minimal customizations and Pixel 3 automatic white balance is enabled out of the box, which means you should get Pixel 3 quality photographs from your POCO F1. How do you install this Gcam on your device? For starters, you need to remove any other Gcam ports which you have installed on your device. Next thing you need to do is download the APKs which are linked in the description of the video and these are the applications you need. So the first APK is the Gcam 7.2 minimal mod itself. Then if you use Google Lens, you need the second APK. If you do not use Google Lens, then you need not install the second APK. Next up we have APKs number 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now if you use Blade Ground stickers, I am a big fan of Blade Ground stickers, Star Wars, Avengers, Stranger Things. In that case you have to install APKs number 3, 4, 5 and 6. If you do not use either Google Lens nor do you use Playground then you can only install the first APK. Once you have installed the application, I do suggest that you go into settings and then you can go into apps manage apps here you can search for the camera application this is the application which we're looking for minimal mod click on clear data and select clear all data what this is going to do is this will remove settings from other gcam ports which you might have installed as they might interfere with the current gcam 7.2 build once we open the application we will move over to night site but before that let's go into settings and check out the settings which i have so i have turned off save location camera sounds are off google lens suggestions are turned on framing hints are turned on and they work absolutely fine save selfie as previewed yes this feature is there works fine social share is a hit or miss so i don't really care about it for gestures you can set the volume key action as zoom and the double tap action as switch camera grid type is off frequent faces is also off once you go into advanced i have enabled the toggle for google photos because i do like to edit my portraits in google photos then show dirty lens warning is enabled hdr plus control is also enabled i do not use raw photographs so that toggle is disabled and same applies for store videos efficiently photo resolution set to full video in case you want to use 4k you have a toggle for that that's it that's about the settings you have hence the minimal build and point and shoot now moving over to night side once we are in night side mode you will see that we have two extra buttons on the left this one is for enabling light trail works like a boss then you have another option to enable astro mode swipe down or tap on the arrow you have face retouching hdr plus on or hdr plus enhanced if you ask me where is the option for hdr plus off that option has been removed because it does not work on the poco f1 then you can set a timer in case you want to and in night side you have the option of four focus modes you have auto near far and infinity infinity is used for astro mode and i do suggest that you put your device on a tripod so that you get great astro mode pictures next up we have portrait mode so in portrait mode from the rear camera you have the option of face retouching works like a boss you have smooth natural or totally off then you have hdr plus enhanced or off option of timer flash and what is the ratio you are looking for if we click on the switch lens button it will switch over to the front camera you can swipe down and these are the settings which we have so you still have face retouching the hdr plus on and hdr plus enhanced then you have the option of timer 
and you do have selfie elimination in case you want to have sharper looking selfies in that case you can use selfie elimination then we have the camera option so we can change to the rear lens move over to camera and the options which you have here are again face retouching hdr plus on and hdr plus enhanced an option for timer flash and the ratio now once you tap on this button you can switch over to the front camera and you still have the same options which you have on the rear camera so you have face retouching then you have hdr plus enhanced or hdr plus on a timer selfie elimination option is also there and the option for ratio next up we have the option for video now for video i do recommend that you use xiaomi's mi camera because this camera doesn't have much options with respect to video you only have the frame rate as auto and as 30 fps that's it you do not have the option of 24 fps or 60 fps on this build do note that 24 fps is an option for the 7.3 build and you can always use bsg's gcam for that moving over to mode we have the option for panorama now for panorama it is a hit and miss it works but sometimes you do get black lines photosphere works absolutely fine i can of course share with you a photosphere which i took so here is the photosphere which i took as you can see photosphere is working absolutely fine on this build then you have slow motion yes a feature which a lot of you want and you do have slow motion working like a boss the only downside is that only 1x4x works if you tap on it you won't get the option of 1x8x but it is good enough that we do have an option for 1x4x in this build then you have time lapse again working like a boss you can choose between 1x 5x 10x 30x and 120x for your time lapse options going into more we do have google lens and this option also works absolutely fine let me bring in my western digital portable hard disk and as you can see working like a boss you can also use other options to translate menus and translate text from one language to another using google lens a pretty nifty feature and last but not the least we have the option for playground once you have installed your stickers or whatever ar stickers you want click on this icon and then you can bring your avengers stickers or your childish gambino into your scene again do not use the install option to download the other stickers go to apk mirror and you can download the apks from there and install them manually because if you try to install them using the install button over here they are not going to install as for taking pictures with playground stickers all you need to do is press and it will take a picture and for video just press and hold and it's going to start recording a video with your favorite character so there it is peeps that was our first look at the minimal mod or the point and shoot mod as i call it of gcam 7.2 by sanity working like a boss on the xiaomi popo f running mi y 11 based on android 10 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you <laughs>